welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I am basically going to have you get ready with me to film another video that I'll be wearing the same hoodie in, but I want to talk today about the Dyson <laughs> hair straightener and it's the Dyson Corral. I'm actually getting ready to film another video about the Dyson Air Straight, but today I wanna to talk about the Dyson Corral because I've been using this hair straightener. It's cordless. It, it's got, it's, it's had some use out of it for the last almost two years. Uh, November of 2023 will be two years having this hair straightener and I have to say I love it so much. It is one of the best hair straighteners I think I've ever used. I'm really impressed with it. It makes me happy to use it. I have been looking for a cordless hair straightener for so many years and I even got my sister onto it. So I wanted to kind of chat with you guys about it. It heats up to 410 degrees. It gets 30 minutes of batter. I need a hairbrush, hold please. And also it's, it's kind of expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but it's worth it because I have used this hair straightener more so than any other hair straightener probably ever um, that I've ever owned. I've used it for a good bit of time. You can tell that it does have some wear and tear on it from my usage, but I honestly don't have any complaints about this hair straightener, except for the fact that you cannot fly with it for some reason. Now I could be reading into this wrong, but because of the battery or something, some countries will not let you fly into their country with this in your bag. I don't know. I mean, if you do fly with it, you have to put it in your carry-on bag because of the battery. I really don't, I'm not sure why. I'm still a little confused by it and maybe someone who has it, this hair straightener and maybe has used it for a while and has flown with it to like say another country or even just locally in the United States, domestically in the United States. I don't know, that's my only complaint about it. Like on my work, on any work trip I've ever gone on, I haven't been able to bring it with me, which has been kind of frustrating. Um, I really like it though. It works really well. And especially for my thick hair, cause I have some thick hair. You guys have actually seen me use this hair straightener a lot of times in my vlogs, getting ready for work in the morning or just getting ready in general. Um, so yeah, I mean, now I guess I'm gonna finish straightening my hair. We'll go from there. <laughs> what my hair looks like post Dyson Corral. Um, it takes me maybe 15 to 20 minutes to straighten my hair. This is what my hair looks like on a good day. Most days when I'm trying to get to work, it's not this straight. But when I first started using this hair straightener, I noticed that my hair would stay straight throughout the entire day. So for people who don't wash their hair like every night, this is a good tool to use you know, cause you can keep straight hair and then touch it up the next day or whatever. I unfortunately am not somebody that who, who is able to do that just based on my hair type. And every day it's, it's putting hair straightener on my hair. However, I do like the hair straightener. I have never been more happy with this hair straightener and I would highly recommend it to anyone who is interested in it. It is so worth it. You can actually see like how it has, mine has like, <laughs> kind of uh, the paint has kind of come off here. And this is actually kind of typical with um, Dyson products. I noticed their hair products. My Dyson air wraps the same exact way as is the blow dryer. The paint does kind of chip off as you, more you use it. You know, I have no complaints and I would honestly buy another one of these tomorrow. Um, I really like them and I think that they do a really good job and are totally worth the hype. I know, the price tag is not <laughs> feasible for a lot of people, but I was actually able, oh my gosh, you see my mom outside right now on the golf cart just flying down the driveway. Anyway, <laughs> um, I know that the price can be a little much for a lot of people. I mean, it is definitely not cheap. This is like the price of back in the day, a new iPhone. And, but if there's anything I've learned post-grad and now that I'm working full time is that you know, saving your money up for things that you want and things that are more worth an investment to you, like a hair tool, is honestly worth it. Um, as much as I use a hair straightener, it was worth the investment for me. And I'll, on top of that, I was able to 
buy through this thing called Affirm where you can pay in installments and not be charged. It's like kind of interest-free financing, but not really. So there's a way to do it. There's a way to make it work. So I really, really like it. And I think it's totally worth it. Out of all the Dyson tools that I own, this is the one I would recommend the most. And then for the hair, for a blow dry, the blow dryer is the one I would recommend second. And then the Air Straight third and the Dyson Air Wrap before. The reason I don't recommend the Dyson Air Wrap is because I don't really use it. And I've honestly thought about selling it. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a short and sweet video, which is exactly what I intended it to be. If you're in the market for a Dyson Corral, I would highly recommend it. I will link it down below. Best Buy has it. Dyson has it. And it's really honestly worth it. I use my hair straightener literally every single day. So minus the weekends most times. But in any case, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and my short review on the Dyson Corral. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!